all right welcome welcome to my ex buddies this is gonna be short this is strictly about the budget we finally got an update on the budget so now the census is over they have an unofficial count um some of the <laughs> some of the citizens are like wait you didn't come to my house the the census is over you didn't count my family but that's because i really believe they already had a pre-count with all the bank accounts open and the, the national id cards they probably had an idea of where they needed to go just to you know fill in the blanks but anyway census is over um they i don't think they've announced the preliminary results but i don't care that, that doesn't matter all right so this is going to be short this is budget and a great article just one sentence i'm excited about this one sentence in the last article so here we go all right and it is sunday morning november 24th in between football games i'm doing this all right and i have finally a budget update and a great cbi article so they put the agenda out for tuesday now they're gonna have a they're gonna have a parliament meeting monday but that is specifically about everything that's going on with ice cream land the threats against them the non-stop um <clears throat> slaughter let me say that i don't think i can say the other word okay uh, in their eyes it, in their eyes it's a slaughter right uh let's see and there's a word of a, a working possibly ceasefire agreement too so but you know they're trying to keep things secret which that's how it should be these are very sensitive times right very sensitive issues and the important details shouldn't be leaked out where a person in america can read them right <laughs> but anyway so yeah so let's get into it okay so this is tuesday well here this image here this is their agenda and, and this is official when they put this out it's official now don't get me wrong they can update it right so something could happen so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves as they say something could happen tomorrow and it could all be messed up but for now i'm liking what i'm seeing it's all in arabic but here's the text of it so first right here's other stuff um other things that are not important to us but here the first reading of the draft law amending the first law of the federal general budget law of the republic of iraq for fiscal years 2023 2024 2025 number 13 of 2023 now i don't know why it says finance committee there but it does so this session starts at 11 so i'll have my eye on it but then after that and i was like oh well you know i don't really know what that means right <laughs> yes. it'd be nice to get some details and here you go in detail the iraqi budget is subject to political and economic amendments on tuesday so and mostly what i think this is is those changes they've made for the kurds the changes they made um with the the percentage of that and you know the other items so here the re-export the kurdistan region's oil to the turkish court of sehan so they did make forward movement and that's why sadani has been grinning like a cheshire cat right because he knows he he knows he knows some stuff he can't say and possibly he is saying it to his people but i'm not seeing it i you know i know a lot of a lot of you guys watch frank 26 and he reports what he gets from his contact eddie so it all sounds good but i don't i don't see that and i i don't it's not in articles yet that's the only reason i can't report on it i'm not saying i don't believe it i do believe it or why else you know people i say well why aren't the people in the streets well because they're being told stuff we can't see and that stuff is holding them off um yeah so it but 
also, I think this said it's only going to be the first reading. And, you know, they have to do three readings, right? But, okay, so there's that. Then we got another more on the budget. Just, um, now see here. No, no, it is. Okay, I was going to say. Now see, this says five to six barrels. And this is Basra. So uh, there's still some little things they're going to talk about, but that's why they do three readings. Even Muhammad Saleh came out. You know who he is, right? The financial advisor to the prime minister. Forgive the background noise. It is what it is. I can't do nothing about that. Okay. Um, so here, you know, there's still, people are still worried about, oh, they're still worried about the, um, price of oil per barrel there's even an article out today one of the economists is explaining that he thinks oil is going to go down during um the t man's time which it could because what's his his saying drill baby drill so if if we flood even though that you know we have to refill our strategic reserve thingy and what else um, but if, if there is an abundance of oil available on the market, then the price will go down. But Iraq is totally covered, right? All they have to do is change the rates. <laughs> and what? They're totally covered with all the money coming in, all the investments. All right. Anyway, I said this is going to be quick. Now look at this. And you, you're going to want to share this. Well, I don't know. Maybe it won't mean to you anything like it means to me. So assigning two international companies to study the Iraqi banking market. Oh, you know what? This isn't from the CBI. This is um, Mohammed Saleh. But it's okay. I'm still excited about it. Because look at all the important things they're letting him say. Right? There is, there's an article from Aaliyah Locke. It doesn't really say too much. And I'll put that. That'll be the next one. I'm going to, you might get three quick videos from me today. All right. Um, the financial advisor, Mohammed Saleh, announced today, Sunday. You see, he's announcing. He's not explaining. He's announcing, right? That the government is in the process of owning Owning a banking system based on the foundations of the competitive market. And that's what we want. We want them to get out of the rentier market and move into competitive, or there's another word too, open market, right? That's like what we have. We have the competitive open market, right? While well, he pointed out that two international companies have been assigned to study the Iraqi banking market. I don't like that. They done, they've they done enough studying, right? It's time to come into action. So there's more. So you really should go read. This is a beautiful article, really. We are waiting for the birth. The birth. What are we waiting for? What are we, a lot of us in Denarland, we compare this rate change to the birthing of a baby, right? Birthing pains, right? And here they are. We are waiting for the birth of a banking system owned by the government, but based on the foundations of a competitive market in providing banking services and achieving actual financial inclusion and digital, you know, blah, 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 right? Oh, that's good. Now here, see that little red sentence right there? He explained that objectives of banking reform in Iraq will end with a high integration that achieves competitiveness. I've, I've been trying to say this word since I saw this article. Is it homogeneity? I've never seen that word before. Okay. Homogeneity. That's how I'm pronouncing that. But. <laughs> Compliance and governance within the Iraqi banking and achieves the integration of the national banking market with the global market. Boom. That's what we want. We want them integrated with the global banking market, the global trading, global finance, 
That is what we want. So I am very pleased to see this one sentence. You can share this video. You can direct people to this article so they can see it. If anyone's feeling down, because come on, guys, we're going into another holiday season. It ain't happening. You know it's not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got 2%, 2% hope of December, right? With all this good news, 2% hope of December. But you know we're going to hear all the same stuff. Well, they want you to have it for Black Friday. Well, they want you to have a Merry Christmas. And I'm not downing anybody. I, that's just the normal cycle of how it goes. If you've been here long enough, you know that's that's what happens around this time of year and it could be that's what they want right all right so that's it but you know what i'm 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 realizing i forgot one of the i forgot one of the budget articles because at the end one of the budget articles says we really hope the so hold on all right i apologize for that so after i had done everything then i did one more check and there was another article this is about the legislative terms the parliament sessions and this guy he is a member of parliament muhammad shamari we need to extend the legislative term for eight sessions and the budget is the top priority so i i don't know if he means past december 9th and if they do that trust me that would be historical if they go through december well they could do two more weeks actually because if they do two if they do two sessions a day oh yeah they would just need two more weeks but anyway so let me show you this paragraph here at the bottom I believe that the, uh, so here, the need, I'm reading right here, the need to extend the legislative term to eight sessions to compensate for what we missed in the last legislative term and for the parliament presidency to prioritize the laws according to the needs of the people. He added, I believe that the issue of the federal budget for 2025 and its completion for the next fiscal year is of the utmost, utmost importance. And the parliamentary circles have determined to approve the budget schedules and we hope that the law will be passed in the coming days. I know, I know we don't like in the coming days, <laughs> but hey, this is forward movement. Forward movement, admission that it's of utmost importance Ah, uh, yeah. Today's a good article day. And actually yesterday was too. I just didn't get around to um posting. So yeah, all right. So that's it. This is your short budget update. I'll rather than do that two minutes, I'll put all the links to everything in the box, you know, the info more open, whatever. If you'd like to send me a little gift, my PayPal link is there. But yeah, so this this is good. This is good. This is good. All right. Until later today.